there you teens. I hope you're having a wonderful, lovely, beautiful day. Because I have some wonderful, lovely, beautiful little miniature things I want to share with you right now. I have these cutie, 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 cutie pies that I have been holding on to for years. Just holding on to them because they're so adorable. I don't utilize them. Some of them I guess I have previously, but I try not to utilize them. I've been saving them just so I can look at them. And I've looked at them and looked at them. And I, ever since I started this channel, I've always had an inspiration to share them with you. But I was hoping I could accumulate a lot more before. But I think I have enough that you would you that you would find them interesting uh, enough to uh, agree with me in reference to the fact that they are adorable. I have some miniature fragrances, and I want you to know that miniature fragrances are distributed sometimes in gift sets along with the standard size fragrance, but it's not very often. As a matter of fact, they are accessible, but they aren't easily accessible. In other words, they are not standard on the market. You have to um, locate them from somewhere and possibly have an aspiration for them before you could attain them. In other words, they're not, like I said, they're not readily accessible in all the department stores. Um, based on my observation, I just happen to have the two, the, these little ones, and I attained them some time ago. And like I said, I've been holding on to them, but I know now why I hold on to them. In all actuality, these here at one time was classified as samples. Okay, they are not related to the samples that we have now. They actually used to give you an entire miniature fragrance bottle and they considered that as a sample of the standard size fragrance. And they didn't realize it, but people loved it because at that point you received much more, maybe about 50 milliliters, which is not even an ounce, but people would receive these cute little teeny, teeny, teeny bottles of fragrance and that's all you really needed. <laughs> oh my God. And people would accumulate them. I remember seeing them all over the ladies' dressers when I was a kid. And of course, I fell in love with fragrances because they were so dang going cute. Anyways, I want you to know they are not like the standard samples that come in containers like this anymore and where they have the, like a little glass bottle in the inside and you can take this here little lid off and it'll give you maybe about one or two wears of fragrances, maybe five, maybe a full, full week. It depends on how sparingly you utilize it, but these are the uh, standard classification of fragrance uh, samples that are readily accessible when you aspire to have one or attain one when you're not sure of exactly what a fragrance consists of and what it really smells like and all the notes in there and everything. This here gives you, this is what the department stores provide their customers currently. Well, like I said before, they used to give you the little miniature bottles and they also give you these ones right here and they're a little bit bigger but they don't come inside of the packet. And they, you can go in any, almost any department store, and a lot of them will provide you with samples that are, well, they are identical to this right here or the slimmer ones in the packet, but they used to give them out so readily accessible. But I want you to know now you go, they're very really stingy with them. They say they don't have any. They don't make them readily accessible anymore, and neither do they the miniature fragrances. And I want to share my miniature fragrances with you today. And the first one I want to share with you happens to be by Bulgari. This here came in a particular gift set which was given to me, <coughs> excuse me, many years ago. And I set it on my um, dresser. I left it sitting there and it was like on display and you realize, you may not realize it, but it's been sitting there forever several years and no one bothered this fragrance look at there there it isn't even well it's not even halfway full it's been utilized but not halfway full because i do have the larger container but this particular Bulgari fragrance it has a floral mm, sweetie 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 scent to it 
Oh, God, I better be careful because there's no sprout there. I thought it was a sprout there. But look at it. It has like a little hole for the bottle right there. And you just dap it out a little bit because they don't put the sprout on these little miniature fragrances. Aren't they adorable? It's so tiny. This is about 50 milliliters, I think. And the little cap pops right back in there. Anyway, this is a sweet floral uh, scent. And it smells lovely. It's light very light and a musky and patchouli scent applied to it but it also had a little bit of fruity spices inserted inside of here but however unfortunately i think this here is the bulgari rose rose chanel i'm sorry rose essential it's the bulgari rose essential and it's been discontinued and everyone's so upset about it because it's a lovely fragrance, but isn't that adorable? Okay, well, this is my first miniature fragrance I want to share with you. Look at it when you hold it in your hand, how tiny it happens to be, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I am so in love with Bulgari products, but this rose, rose floral scent is it's a lovely fragrance. I have no idea why they decided to discontinue it, but they need to bring it back. I love it. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's so darling. I couldn't um, postpone it any longer. I had to share you my miniature scents, and this happens to be just the first one. And next, <clears throat> I haven't had this one very, very long, and when I was going through all my little miniature scents, trying to decide, okay, which ones do I want to share today? Some of them I classified as miniature, and some of them, they could have been miniature, but I thought they were a little bit too large to be considered miniature because miniature to me are the really, really tiny ones. This one, I guess, fall into that category based on the size of the original containers. Maybe this is a standard size for it, but I would say this is a little bit larger than uh, 50 milliliters. But anyways, this here is by Philosophy, and it happens to be Amazing Grace. And this right here is a darling scent as well. Oh, it's so fresh and, you know, a lovely, refreshing, uh, daytime scent that's very de designed, very lovely and exquisitely to the point where you feel nothing but summertime with this particular fragrance. It's so appropriate for the summer wear fra fragrances on, I would say, almost anyone because everyone loves Philosophy Amazing Great Fragrances. Um, I've heard various comments regarding them, but I've never heard an age distinction applied to them because they are so uh, light and delicate, but they are not uh, going to have that. They have a sweet, delicate scent applied to them, but they don't have no, no scent that's just so potent where it's annoying for summer wear. I think this was specifically designed for summer wear because it smells so summery and attractive. And it smells youthful. However, I don't think it's an age distinction applied to this, but it's very appropriate for summer wear. And the notes in this, I think, consist of uh, predominantly fresh notes. And I don't have all of the description of notes on this one, but they are very, very, very... Uh, floral. Whatever they have incorporated in this particular fragrance, I can guarantee it, it's an exceptional amount of florals in it and it is, appears to have some jasmines also, but all the notes are very summery and very light and very fresh and it's a very refreshing scent. This here is Amazing Grace Philosophy and I don't classify this as being exceptionally miniature, but I guess in a way it's it's standard size for miniature. It depends on the fragrance and the original size of the fragrance. So I think this is appropriate. So I classify this as miniature also, and I think it's also very adorable and cute. <clears throat> and excuse me, the next set that I have to reveal to you, now honey, this one is even smaller. <laughs> it's much smaller. It's cute, 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 cute. And it's by, look at that. <laughs> I find it so cute. It's my Vera Ring. I classify this as my elegant little fragrance. But, but this one also came in a gift box and a gift set. When I have received the original size one, see, they used to be very prominent. Whenever you purchase a fragrance gift set, they would incorporate a miniature scent in there as well. But they have exchanged the miniature size container, which was generally identical 
to the larger container and you receive like two fragrances, one larger, one small, and now they uh, transfer them over to you start uh, providing the uh, roller ball. You've seen the roller balls and the spray balls. And that's what generally comes in a fragrance gift set now. And uh, honey, I really love the miniatures, but the reason they probably did that, because these right here, see again, it has like the little opening there, the little hole, and you pour it out and it was probably like to just, you know, easily to spill your fragrance. So they went to the roller ball and the spray ball. But I think this is, look at it. Oh, it's so tiny, so tiny, tiny. It's almost as, it's not even as tall as my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sweet, sweet, sweet attractiveness applied to this teeny little bottle, but you might not believe it. It's identical to the large one. And this here is Vera Wang, and it has the name right here on the front. Also, Vera Wang, really, really small, right here. Vera Wang is elegant. It's an elegant little bitty container. But not, uh, not only that, it consists of a floral scent. And it has gardenias and red rose leaves in this particular little fragrance right here. And musk and step on rose leaves. And it's classified as strictly for day wear. It's very much identical to the larger container of your way. But it's a very pleasant scent. But today, we are going through the miniature fragrance containers and admiration of how beautiful they are. And this one right here, look at the size of my hand. Oh my God. Miniature. So gorgeous. This here is Vera Wang, and I love it. Oh, honey, honey, honey. I have one for you that you won't believe. You might remember, well, I don't have it anymore, but I have a couple of Versace's Yellow Diamonds, but honey, this is something I do not have. And this is what happens to be Versace Noir. Look at it, it's still in the little bottle. I'm going to open this right in front of you. Versace Versace Crystal Noir. Look at that little teeny container. Container. It's so gorgeous. And on the front of it, it has right there Versace Crystal Noir. The whole name is written right on there in miniature little letters, also. It's so cute. And I want you to know the word Noir. Noir stands for black. Anytime you see the word Noir on any fragrances, it means that it's black. And that's why they all come to black containers like Chanel Noir is in a black container because it means black. The fragrance is in black, but maybe it has a black scent or something. I'm not sure. But this particular Noir is not an EDP. The other ones I've explained to you, I didn't specify, but they are EDP. But this particular one is an EDT. An EDT fragrance, and they classify this as Versace Crystal Noir Exotic. It's an exotic scent, and it has some very exquisite notes applied to this one. It has some gardenias, jasmines, pepper, not peppercorn, pepper, but peonies, and amber, and sandalwood, and musk, and a few oriental flavor uh, scents, notes as well. It's a, an adorable aroma applied to this, and also it has the little round opening there, no sprout. See it? The little round opening there. Oh. Lovely, 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 fragrant fragrance. Mm, mm, mm. So sensual, so attractive, and not only that, honey, I think it's more appropriate for nightwear. Oh, exotic, interesting, interesting, interesting fragrance. I'm just so captivated. Oh, but look at this one. It has a stopper on the end. It goes inside a little hole right there, applied to the top. So. It doesn't spill so easily. So attractively designed, not only on the outside in the container. I don't have the larger fragrance in this one, but honey, it's on my fragrance shopping list. If I ever can locate this fragrance and I feel that the price happens to be right, I can't wait to get it. I thought I loved, I thought I was in love with Versace Yellow Diamond. But I don't even have the Versace pink one. I don't know the name of it, but it's pink. But, you know, I love them. I love them. The fragrance are so, so, so much, so much for a woman. Everything you want. Lovely, divine. Mm, the Captain A. Cap. Captivating. Yes. Okay. 
this is my little beauty uh, miniature fragrance by Versace and it's Versace Noir and it's also 50 milliliters and moves me right along with my miniature fragrances you won't believe this honey I don't know where I obtained this fragrance from but this right here baby it's the bottles I only have like a little quarter scent left in it but it's ooh la la <laughs> oh la la was designed by Victoria's Secret, which I don't know. You know what? I meant to tell you that some of these fragrances, I consider them as, um, what is it called? I consider these particular fragrances as not vintage, but maybe almost vintage. They're not very new fragrances. The ones I'm getting ready to introduce you to now. But this right here, I don't think. I think it's, I don't know if it's still on the market or not. But this right here is designed by Victoria's Secret. And it's ooh la la. And it's also a side uh, apply. It's in the line of Pretty Little Things by Victoria's Secret. They had a line at one time called Pretty Little Things. And it's designed by specifically Victoria's Secret. And this here happens to have fallen into that brand's line. And this here is a, like a little flirty, flirtatious, delicate scent. And it's very feminine. Mm, and a little strong, too. A little powerful. As you can see, it's only like a little corner left in here. So apparently, I used to love it. I used to love it because I've worn it excessively and I don't even think it's replaceable anymore, but they have other ones. They have many fragrances, but I haven't gone to Victoria's Secret in so long. I can't tell you what's in the fragrance line right now, but this here is scent, con this fragrance consists of cherry and vanilla blossoms and it's a little bit of musk applied to it and mandarin and it's pretty flirtatious. Anyways, I guess that's why I fall into the line of pretty little things or sexy little things. Yeah, sexy little things. But isn't that adorable? This here is by Victoria's Secret. I mean, it's called Ooh La La. And it's designed by Victoria's Secret. And I think the little bitty container is absolutely gorgeous. And it's also a miniature fragrance by Victoria's Secret. I find it really exquisite, don't you? Lovely. I wish it was full again. <laughs> and now, moving right along, I have... Um, Oh my God, that got on my arm, on my hand. It smells nice. Maybe it spilled or something. I don't remember wearing it out, but I have to put this on me right now because it, it's all over my hand. It has a sweet aroma to it, but yet and still, it has that adult, mature fragrance, and they consider it flirtatious, and I agree. I love it. It's nice. I'm going to have to, if they haven't discontinued it, I'm going to look for it. I'm going to try to replace that. But okay, just switching over a little bit. This one right here is a little bit larger than your standard miniature fragrances because of the fact that I classify it as being miniature, but it happens to fall upon in a category of aromatherapy, and the name of it happens to be D. Cleanor. Cleanor. Cleanor, de Cleanor, de But however, this right here is more like aromatherapy type of an oil. And it's a fragrant oil. They only designed three of these for particular fragrances. I had to, um, it's, it has a very, I don't know if I can smell anything now from the last one. I all over my hands and I tried to rub it off, but I don't think I did. Oh God, the scent is amazing. It's all over me. No worries, no, not, not in the container, stay in my clothing. But this here, De Cleanor, it's a nice scent. It has a lovely scent to it, honey, but it's so, so orangey. It consists of orange, mandarin type of fragrance. But it's also, oh, it's very lovely, but it's utilized. Uh, okay, it's, it's uh, paraben-free. And it has, happens also to be um, colorant free. In other words, the color that's established right here happens to come from the mentor and oranges. It's uh, chemical free and all of that. In other words, this here, fragrance right here has health properties in it. And it's supposed to be healthy for your skin. It's 
100% pure. Everything in this fragrance right here is pure. And they only designed three of them, like I said before. And it's a, a fragrant oil that's applied to the body, but it's predominantly utilized in health spas. And oh, it's nice. I've used them, utilized them a little bit. It's not, it's, it's a little larger than what I classify as miniature, but that's because of the, it's large because the original containers come much, much larger than this. So this here happens to be classified as their miniature fragrance. And the name of it, if you own a, a beauty spa or a health spa or have um, any accessibility to that, or if you're having a spa day at home, I highly recommend that you check out this here particular fragrance because of the fact that it's predominantly for you know it's predominantly designed for individuals that are interested in um, hygiene and skin care aromatherapy products <clears throat> excuse me because of the <clears throat> excuse me because of the fact that it's designed specifically for spas and but it just so happens that they apply fragrance to it to give it a natural aroma. But this, like I said, it's chemical free and it's paraben free and it's 100% pure. And if you have a desire to have beautify your skin or have beautiful skin, it's elegant for your skin as well. So I highly recommend this one for when you're nurturing your body and giving yourself excellent skin care and taking care of all the important attributes of femininity Toss a little bit of this on there as well. So invest in this one. I'm recommending this one because of the fact that it represents all of the attributes of loveliness because it's good for your skin care, it's good for your body, and it also have a fragrance applied to it. So I highly recommend this. The name of this is, happens to be De Clear Noir and it's by Aromatherapy. Check it out. And moving right along, I have, <coughs> excuse me, another one by, like I said, I said pretty little things, but I mean sexy little things. Sexy little things. Here's another one by Victoria's Secret, and it's called, um, it's really called Sexy Little Things. This was the name that the other brand that I mentioned to you was designed in the same line of Sexy Little Things, but this was the original Sexy Little Things. And look at this miniature little container. It's very small. It's one of those little small delicate ones that I really, really admire in their products. And this one here happens to have, um, oh God, look, it has a sprayer. It's the only one miniature one I have that has an actual spray sprout thing on it right there. I guess there's not enough left in there to spray out because I can't get anything out. But either way, this here particular fragrance happens to be the, the notes in here. I, I, I check. Oh, yes. It has a smell of apples. Apples and omatuses. Mm, but it's floral, also a little aquatic as well. And it smells like it has some jasmine and some lilies incorporated in this. And of course, I can smell the musk. So this is a beautiful little scent designed by, fragrance designed by um, Victoria's Secret. So I want you to also check this one out. Isn't that cute? I'm not sure if they, if, if they, their fragrances, these sexy little things are still on the market or not, or that brand line, but they may have been discontinued. I didn't, I didn't check it out. But I recommend that you do because the fragrances that I'm getting attaining from here, this these fragrance, these little containers, the fragrance and the aroma that I'm attaining smells absolutely lovely. So therefore, I highly recommend that you investigate the fragrances to, to determine as to whether or not they're still on the market and attain some of them. And um, I highly recommend them anyways. <laughs> and I have one more. And this one right here, you might not remember his name. But this individual happens to be, the, um, I, I would say, I would like to say that he happens to be an icon, but however, he isn't around anymore, but he's like um, a male fashion designer and had many products on the market at one time. 
and the brand is still around and it's by Roberto Cavalli and this here happens to be one of his fragrance and this one is Serpentine. Serpentine. I can't give you very much information on it because of course this fragrance has been completely discontinued but based on the information that I can determine from just the scent it doesn't have a sprout I know that but you can see I utilize it but I really love it it's very potent and very strong it appears to have some wood base in it I would say sandalwood and it also appears to be a little floral and spicy but it has a very attractive scent to it as well but this here is like my miniature fragrance by Roberto Cavalli and this here happens to be the only fragrance that I have by Roberto Cavalli and based on this scent right here I will I think I would love to have more fragrances by him because this is very attractive I'm very impressed with the fragrance I'm very impressed with all of them and you know what based on the fact that I have uh, smelled all of these here fragrances this afternoon and I had been a while, I just picked up the bottles and ensured that I had access to them. And look at that, all of them are so tiny, they can all fit in my one hand. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, this one could too, but it, oh, all of them can fit in my one hand. All those little teeny containers, I think that's so adorable. But I highly recommend all of these just fragrances to you because they are miniature containers, but I want you to know. They have some very, very, very large <laughs> scents and fragrances inside these miniature containers. So I recommend that you invest into these particular fragrances and enjoy them. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I pray that you um, continue to subscribe. And I thank you for everything. Bye.